tell you guys about a new grant that's in place. So 2020 and 2021 high school grads can receive grants up to $2,800 to help pay for their two years in community college right here in North Carolina. It's called the Longleaf Commitment Grant Program. It has now been extended to help even more students heading into the spring semester. To tell us all about it, I'd like to welcome Jason Johnson live now. He is the Assistant Director of Financial Aid at GTCC. Jason, thanks so much for joining us. I'm glad to be here, Audrey. Oh, good. So let's first begin with the difference between grants and a student loan. Can you help decipher those? Sure. Uh, grants are free money to help students go to college, and loans also help, but you got to pay those back. Okay, so let's talk about this Longleaf grant. So the program was extended and expanded, right, to reach more groups and explain kind of which groups are included in that. Can you do that for us? I'd be happy to. So recently, uh, new guidance was issued so that high school, North Carolina high school graduates who graduated in 2020 or in 2021 can now attend one of the great 58 community colleges in our state uh, for virtually free. All right, so 58 community colleges in North Carolina. Share with me the value of someone attending a community college. Well, so, so you can uh, uh, attain a degree from a community college, any one of the 58, and you can jump right into the workforce with that degree. Uh, you can also uh, receive uh, transfer credits if you pursue a four-year degree. So you could start at a community college and get those credits that you need to jump right into junior status at a, at a four-year college. Let's talk financial benefits. You know, a lot of families and folks in high school may kind of have that looming fear or question of how to pay for college. So are there benefits financially to attending a community college? Certainly, uh, it, it can be more cost effective if you start at a community college and pursue some of those general education requirements here, uh, but it's also more cost effective if you want to go ahead and jump into the workforce, you can get that degree in two years at a community college and then move right into the workforce and start earning money. Great, and let's go back to this grant. So Longleaf Commitment Grant, share how people can apply and why you guys are kind of promoting this overall. Well, you can get more information about the grant from gtcc.edu. It's currently up on our homepage, but the, there, there are several different requirements. Of course, you have to be a North Carolina high school graduate graduating in 2020 or 2021. You have to be a North Carolina resident. If you graduated in 2020, then you must have attended for the first time this fall or this coming spring. Same with the 2021 high school graduate. You must have attended either this fall or this coming spring. You must be enrolled in a curriculum program and at least six credit hours, and you have to have completed a FAFSA for the current academic year. If you need help doing that, by all means, come see us here at GTCC. We'll be happy to help you fill out that FAFSA, as that is usually the most difficult part of the process. And I remember you were on our show talking about FAFSA I before. <laughs> I was. Well, great to have you again, Jason. Thank you. And folks, a great resource out there. If you missed anything, you can find more information about the Longleaf Commitment Grant or other details about community colleges at gtcc.edu.